at 6 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Lauren Culver. Thanks for watching KX News. In our top story, gun bills. It's day nine in the legislature, and this morning, lawmakers rolled out several. Our Malik Rankin was at the Capitol and joins us now to explain how the gun legislation could impact you. Malik. Thanks, Chad and Lauren. Today, testimonies were heard on gun sale refusals, the illegality of possessing a firearm while in possession of marijuana, and allowing guns in public gathering places. Several organizations spoke out against allowing guns in public spaces, including several school advocacy groups. We'll start there. House Bill 1325 brought in the president of North Dakota United and several more asking lawmakers for a do not pass. That's because this law would allow anyone with a consent seal carry license to bring their weapon into schools, churches, and even the Capitol. Those in favor say concealed carry locations are safer than public gathering spaces because of the presence of more guns. I just don't think that restricting people once you get the permit is, uh, is right at all. I think you're taking away uh, rights under the Second Amendment for one thing. But school advocacy groups say that more guns do not mean more safety on campus. I think it's very important that we keep those as safe as possible by not allowing 18-year-olds and other folks to carry weapons on those uh, in the schools. Also in committee, House Bill 1160. Representative Ben Koppelman wants there to be a penalty for gun shops that deny a sale based solely on age. It just does not allow them to have a blanket policy and say all 20-year-olds are just unable to buy a gun from us. Koppelman told me most stores already document their reasoning when denying a sale and can still deny sales if a customer raises concern. Now that medical marijuana is legal for those participating in the program, owning a firearm is illegal. Representative Josh Boucher is sponsoring a bill to change that, House Bill 1148. He says legalizing the drug in North Dakota shouldn't strip patients of their Second Amendment rights. The committee questioned this bill because federally possession of a firearm while in possession of marijuana is against the law. Members of the House Energy and Nat Natural Resources will take into account the dozens of testimonies heard today. In the next few weeks, each of the bills will be presented on the House floor with the pass or do not pass recommendation. Back to you both. Malik Rankin reporting. Thanks, Malik. Now let's start with the